Hi guys, my name is Sahid Katala and today I'm going to be showing you the making of choco caramel muffins. First, let me tell you the ingredients for the dry mix. So let's start. Take two cups of flour and uh, you can um, take uh, choco and caramel powder. Let me tell you the ratios later. Uh, baking soda and baking powder and uh, what's this yeah powdered sugar one cup of it and then pinch of salt now let me show you the ingredients clearly two cups of flour and you can take four teaspoons of caramel powder and four teaspoons of choco powder one cup of powdered sugar and a pinch of salt now slowly add all the dry mix ingredients in a bigger bowl so that it can fit. Do not pour everything at once slowly as I'm doing it. Slowly add it and start mixing it. Once you have added everything, uh, do, do not put the sugar and the flour at once. Add the sugar. What do you do? Add the choco powder and the caramel powder first sorry second and then the sugar and then the salt so that it can mix evenly even I have done it the same way now make space so that it doesn't spill off slowly pour it in as it was a small quantity I did not take too much time to pour it in and then lastly baking soda and salt as you guys know baking soda is for baking now after everything is mixed, some, it looks somewhat like this. You can add more uh, choco, uh, choco powder or anything for your taste. Now let me tell you the ingredients for the wet mix. Two eggs in a bowl or anything in a plate if you want. And one teaspoon of vanilla essence but you cannot see it because vanilla essence is clear. One cup of milk. Uh, toned milk maybe and one cup of melted butter or oil preheat the oven at 180 degrees celsius cell and uh, for 20 minutes this will heat up the oven and make it easier and now start adding the vanilla essence to the two eggs and start beating it slowly or add all the ingredients and then beat I've added the melted butter into the bowl as well and then the milk and then I have whisked it all together so now let me pour on to the milk it looks somewhat uh, different when you pour it in see guys can you see that it's very different and then I've gone mixing it thoroughly do, do it slowly do not hesitate or it will spill out slowly and steady after whisking everything together it looks somewhat like this you can add more milk to your consistency you should get a marble finish i have added more milk even you can i have put my mixture into muffin trays and in a cake container you can do as you want i have sprinkled my uh, muffin tray with gems or skittles uh, walnuts or any nuts and then cadbury dairy milk pieces even the same with the container just showing you the container how it looked after my decoration now heat the oven at 40 minutes at 180 degrees celsius place the container in the oven first and then the muffin tray see so that your uh, muffin tray and the container fit into one uh, rack of the oven and mine took 40 minutes depends on the power of your oven so do it uh, accordingly this is just a glimpse of my muffins baking in the oven you can also do the same thing it will bake slowly comments below how your muffin baked and did this recipe was this recipe useful for your baking cake maybe i'll do another video for a vanilla cake maybe so stay tuned and wait for the next video so that was just the sun rays attacking it just joking it was a flashlight of the camera and then this is the last part as you can see it has raised now i'm slowly taking out the muffin tray first as it so muffins are more attractive than normal cakes 
and then let me just show you a glimpse of how it looked after the muffins have been placed on a plate before that let me take out the container which is still in the oven come on let me take it and then i'll place it but guys i'm not going to show you okay leave that let me tell you later yeah this is a glimpse of my muffins after they have been baked looks delicious guys and it tastes really well if you do the exact way you will get a perfect cupcake muffin or whatever you can call it. it's really awesome if you guys see the top chocolate has melted the cat roasted almonds and walnuts have given a flavor and the gems has melted and gone down thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe to my channel i'm the producer director editor and voice the end stay tuned for the next cake making video it will help you a lot bye